Hello everyone. In the series of learning database management system, our today's topic is data redundancy and data anomalies. So let's understand what is data redundancy. It is a condition that occurs within a database in which same data is present in multiple location. So basically, if we are having multiple copies of same data in our database, it will lead us to data redundancy. This problem mainly occur when our database is not normalized. So normalization, I'm going to tell you in the next video. For now, understand this, whenever I'm having multiple copies of same data in the database, it will create the problem of data redundancy. This can occur by accident. We don't know by mistake if I have entered uh, same data on many places or it can be done intentionally also for creating backup and recovery purpose. So both the ways uh, are possible data redundancy can be there. If you can see this table here, I'm having student data and uh, we here we are having all the details of the student and we have kept all the details of the student in the same table so as you can see enrollment id is the student name phone number and information about the college is also in the same table is present because the table is the student data so all the information related to student we kept in the same table so college id college address college rank and course everything we have kept in the same table now as you can observe here the values of the attributes for example this you can see college id college address college rank then course if you can see here be101 enrollment id of this student vinita anita rama Kiran, they all are in the same college. When they are all in the same college, their college ID, their college address, their college rank, and they opted for same course. All are doing engineering. So same course. So all these details are repeated, right? So which can create many problems, such as it can create a problem of data inconsistency data inconsistency due to which information become unreliable and meaningless if there is any discrepancy comes in this information it also increases the size and complexity of database if i will store the multiple copy of same data for backup also and if by mistake i forget that i have mentioned a data student data table at one place in my one drive and another drive also i create the same table then the size and the complexity of the database also increases, which is again a big challenge to maintain because big database is very hard to maintain. And uh, a large database can also leads to a uh, longer load time. So when I will run the query, it will give me slower results. So it is also a big problem due to redundancy. If I have data redundancy, if you can see here, so much redundant data is present in the same table. Just here we are having only five rows. But what if, if I'm having number of rows in some thousands and lakhs and then my data get redundant? Another big problem is when more data is created due to data redundancy, storage cost suddenly increases. So here, if you can see again and again, I'm maintaining the same data. So that much storage is also going right and uh, implementing a database system become more expensive when storage increases. So all those these problems created due to data redundancy another one big problem last but not the least is data anomalies anomalies are problem that can occur in poor planned or unnormalized databases where all the data is stored in one table as you can see what we have done all the data student related information college related information course detail everything we maintained in the same table 
now what happened this is not a good design it is a poorly planned design because of this i will get a problem of anomaly so basically there are three types of anomalies first is updation anomaly second is insertion anomaly and third is deletion anomaly let's understand all these three anomalies one by one so first let me tell you about updation anomaly just consider this table now suppose for now just consider this college sbcet 14 this college is present in rajasthan and right now the college rank of this college is one it is top in the college uh, in the rajasthan right so what if some other college uh, become now uh, the top uh, comes in the top list what if some other college gets number one and its rank degrade to number two then what will happen then i have to change the rank of this college and i have to change this rank everywhere wherever the college rank how many student for this table only i'm having four student but if i'm having more student also from the same college again and again i have to change the rank of the college for each and every student right and which is very time consuming and computationally also it will be very costly if for each and every row i will do the updation right so if the updation another problem if updation don't occur at all the places few places i updated the college rank sbcet 14 from one i updated it to two but what if few places i forgot to update or i had multiple copies of this database i had i had multiple copies of this table for uh, safety purpose for backup purpose in few tables i updated and few places i don't forget to update then what will happen it will lead me to inconsistent state that is again a challenge data inconsistency is also a big problem fine so this is a example of updation anomaly where i have to update everywhere and if i'm not updating if i am not able to update everywhere then my data will become unreliable and meaningless fine next is insertion anomaly now let us suppose in this table let us suppose this enrollment id is the primary key for this table fine now if a student de detail has to be inserted whose course is not yet decided this enrollment id is primary key let us suppose i want to insert a new student be 106 fine and right now the course the the student is confused that he should go for btech or mba or mtech that person is not very sure so that time if this course is a not null attribute then how i will suppose to enter the student or let's understand like this a new college is coming up in the state let us suppose the college is reit and uh, college id is reit 14 okay now that reit 14 is a newly established college so college id is there college address is there and college rank is also there and what courses that college is offering that is also there but right now no student is there then what will happen because there is no student and enrollment id is primary key i'm not allowed to insert that college also because we are maintaining the college details also in the same table now if there is no student in the table then primary key cannot be null so if no student i'm not allowed to insert that particular college detail in my table so this kind of problem is insertion anomaly this problem happens when the insertion of data record is not possible without adding some additional unrelated data to the record so what i can done here i have to enter some false value right otherwise because if enrollment id is primary it will not allow me to enter the college id also so here some false value i have to enter to maintain that college details 
fine. So this kind of problem is insertion anomaly. Last, we are having deletion anomaly. Deletion anomaly happens if the detail of a student, for example, let us suppose this this student Shaheen BE 105. She don't want to pursue MBA anymore. Let us suppose she wants to prepare for civil services. So what will happen if she wants she decided to quit from MBA her detail I have to delete from here. Now, because her detail I'm deleting, enrollment ID, which is B105, which is a primary key, because this row I'm deleting, the detail of the college, JCRE15, Karnataka, college rank, course, everything is getting deleted. Now, this entire, entire college details are also going because this student is going. And I'm not able to maintain this college details again until and unless some another student is coming and taking admission in this college, right? So when the detail of a student in the table is deleted, then the college details are also getting deleted. This anomaly happens in deletion anomaly. When we are losing the data record, because of some other related data record. Fine. So I hope these three anomalies are clear to you. So this is it for this session. Thank you very much.